Hi, this is Steph Mischuk with KillerPHP.com. It's been a while since my last video. I've been uh, busy with a move and, uh, you know, busy with other work, I guess. Anyhow, in this video tutorial, I want to discuss ORM frameworks, ORM, and that's short for Object Relational Mapping. So what we're going to cover in this video, which is for beginners, people new to the concept of ORM, is first of all what they are, what they do, when and why you'd want to use them. And by the way, I'm glancing down here because I got notes. So, And finally, I'm going to look at a couple, well, very quickly, I'm going to look at a couple of ORM frameworks that are available to us in the PHP world. And I may mention one that's uh, not available to the PHP world, but it's very important. Anyhow. So an ORM framework, as I just said, is short for Object Relational Mapping. So what these frameworks are basically are just code, they're software written in an object-oriented language like PHP or Java, or C Sharp, etc. And what these frameworks do is basically wrap around relational databases. They create a bridge of communication between a re relational database like MySQL, SQL Server, and the programming language, in our case, PHP. So let me run a quick little scenario, and I think we'll help clarify what this thing does. So let's say you have a simple database with two tables, clients and products. So you would take your ORM framework, and you would point it at this database, and Every ORM framework has its own way of doing things. Some have to be configured with XML files. Some use something called reflection, and they're able to basically scan your database and generate its own stuff. Anyway, however your framework in particular happens to work, in the end, what you have are a series of objects, as in object-oriented objects. In, in the case of PHP, of course, it would be PHP objects. And these objects would map the various tables in your database. So what you as a programmer would then do is use these objects to interact with the database as opposed to having to write straight SQL code and doing all that manual connecting. Uh, in PHP, of course, you, you know, the manual stuff would be using the MySQL libraries or the PDO libraries found in PHP. The four big advantages of using an ORM tool are, well, also, I have them written down here. So, number one, an ORM tool will harmonize data types between your SQL database and language you happen to be writing your web applications in, or your applications in. If you've ever worked with databases before, you know that tables, when you're creating your tables, each of the columns, each of the fields have to be given data types, you know, int, small int, blob, var char, char, etc. Now, what the ORM tool will do is it will deal with the inconsistencies between the data types and your programming language. So, since PHP is a dynamic language to begin with, it's maybe less of an issue. But with Java, for instance, where it's strongly typed, where you have to declare your variables, you have to declare the types that they are, whether it's an int, a string, small int, etc. What the ORM tool will do is that it will translate the uh, data types and harmonize them for you on the fly. So when you use your ORM objects to interact with the database, whether you're saving data or updating data, or, or, you know, etc., uh, the ORM objects will take care of that, the data type conversions for you on the fly, so you don't have to think about it. Another advantage of using an ORM tool is that it basically shields you from much of the SQL code you would have to write otherwise. So if you've ever done any uh, semi-complex projects in any, you know, whether it be PHP or Java or whatnot, you know that if you start getting into... Uh, some uh, some SQL deep into it, it can get pretty hairy, especially when you start doing some uh, fancy stuff. In the case of using an ORM, you would just have to interact with the ORM objects, which, you know, in the case of a PHP-based system, they would just be PHP-based objects. So it's a lot cleaner. So for instance, if you looked at some pseudocode, 
let's say the ORM framework generated uh, a client object for your client table, you would just have to instantiate that object and call it save method, for instance. So you might say client new, you know, my client equals new client, and you add your data in with the constructor when you're constructing the object initially. And then you would call a save method of the client object, assuming that your ORM tool created a save method. It could be some other uh, uh, method name, but basically would save the data to the database. And that's all you'd have to do. You wouldn't have to um, you wouldn't have to uh, write SQL code and start trapping for data types, etc. Which brings me to another advantage of the ARM framework is that uh, you won't have to deal worry about SQL injection attacks and uh, cleaning up your data as it goes into the framework. The uh, framework itself will handle that as well. So that's that's pretty cool. Finally. Uh, I state this last advantage with a certain uh, reluctance, um, but I'll state it anyway. One of the uh, things that people tout about using an ORM is that you can much more easily switch from one relational database to another with your application since the ORM framework will adapt itself accordingly and you won't have to mess your, with your code. Now, I say this with great reluctance because in theory, it sounds great. In practice, it's not necessarily that great. And second of all, in you know the 10, 15 years I've been playing with these kind of technologies, well, web development and application development, I've in only in one occasion I've, I've, have I seen where we've actually changed the database on an application. It's, it's a very rare event, so I'm not sure how important that really is. So when should you use an ORM framework? That's an important question. Well, based on my personal experience, it really comes down to this. As your project becomes more complex, m the more important an ORM framework can be. If you're dealing with relatively simple PHP applications, five tables or less, five, six, seven queries, and it's just you and some other guy writing the code, then ORM would be overkill. On the other hand, if you're doing things like if you got a system that has 10 plus tables, 10 plus queries, and you're three or more programmers, the ORM framework may be something worth looking into because it could save you a lot of time. Finally, ORM frameworks are very effective, very useful. They've ma matured quite a bit in the last decade. Nonetheless, it's uh, they don't solve all your problems in that the ORM objects will probably handle 80 to 90% of your queries to the database, but sometimes you're going to have to drop down into SQL or some SQL-like query language, and a lot of ORM frameworks will provide something like that for you uh, because sometimes... It just doesn't work. So if you think by using an ORM framework, you're going to be free of SQL code for the rest of your life, that's not going to happen. You're still going to need to do it sometimes. But nonetheless, when you implement a good ORM, it will, uh, it will save you a lot of time if your project has got some scale and uh, size to it. I hope you like this video. Uh, as I get more settled into my new place here, I plan to put out many more on a regular basis. I'm Steph Mischuk with Killer PHP, and thanks for watching.